boys and girls, my name is Miss Stephanie and I am the Youth Services Librarian at the Greenwich Branch of the Gloucester County Library System. And today we're going to make a really simple dream catcher from things that we have in our house. So what you're going to need is a paper plate, some ribbon or yarn, a hole puncher, and some scissors. If you're using scissors, be very, very careful, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is with the paper plate, you're going to fold it in half and cut out the middle, okay? So after you cut out the middle part, it's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna take your hole puncher and make some holes around, okay? So you can have as many holes as you want because this is where your string will go through. And boys and girls, I didn't color my paper plate, but you can certainly color it or paint it um, before doing any of the steps that we just did. Okay. Ooh, one more. Okay. So then you're going to take your string, cut a really, really long piece. So put your arms all the way out like this, and that's how long your ribbon or your um, yarn should be. Okay. And then you're gonna basically just put it in the hole. Now, when you do the first one, you're gonna tie a knot here, okay? Because we don't want the ribbon to fall out, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna, now that you made a hole here, you're gonna put it through this hole next because you're, you're going to go opposite, okay? And then you're going to go pick another hole like that. And then you're going to go to the opposite side, which is either this one or this one. So you can pick. Okay, and just pull it through. And now I'm going to go to either one of these down here. and then I'm going to go to the opposite side. And some people think that when they put dream catchers above their beds, it holds all of their good dreams. Like go to the opposite. Okay. So now you have strung it through. So you're going to make a knot up here, so you might need a little bit of help, but that's okay. So you can either fold it in half like this, and then you can put it around your finger and push it through like that to make a little knot. Okay, so this little loop right here is where you'll hang it. Now, Sometimes um, dream catchers also have little strings hanging down from them. So you can do different things with that. So you can take some string and then put it through one of the bottom holes here. And you're gonna make a knot because you don't want it sliding through. Cut a little bit off. Now, Miss Stephanie does not have any beads in her house, but normally you would put some beads at the end of this and then not the end. But I do have paper clips, so they'll work. But you can decorate the string, the bottom string, with whatever you have in your house. So if you want to put some paper clips on it like that, or if you wanted to add, um, Buttons, you can certainly do that. If you have any like hot glue, you can hot glue some buttons on here. You can color this. You can make it however you want. That's the beauty of the dream catcher is that is once you make it, then you can decorate however you like. I usually put a couple pieces down here. Okay. 
and then you can decorate that string as well. So once you have everything decorated, you can hang it above your bed so when you go to sleep at night, all of your dreams get caught in your little dream catcher. So this is a really great activity for those little ones working on their um, fine motor skills. And it's also a great activity for the older ones who really like to do something crafty um, with things that are in the house that you really don't have a lot of. Um, not everybody has beads or, or hot glue or anything like that. So this is some, from um, basic things that I found in my house. So if you want to share with us what you made, that would be great. We would love to see it. So you can share it on our Facebook page or on our Instagram at GC Libs. And then we'll share it on our page and everybody will get to see how great it looks. Okay. All right. So we'll see you later. Bye guys.